There can be various type of accesses. So system that don't permit access to other users or other user file, they don't need protection. They don't require protection. And so protection can be provided by just, just uh, disallow the access, just prohibit the access. But uh, this can be very extreme, you know. So need, we need some control type of access. This, this may not be possible because this will leave everything uh, unaccessible. So we need some controlled access. So the limit of, we need, can limit the type of access or file access that can be made. How, how can we do it? We can control the operations like the read, write the uh, write, like the delete and uh, like the list. So we can just allow some uh, files to be read or directories to be read, only return, uh, executable, append, delete list. All these type of accesses are possible and this is called the control access. So what is the access control? The, this is actually for protection. So this is the most common approach to the protection problem is just to make access dependent on the identify of the user. What is the identification of the user? That is files can be associated with some ACL that is you have a proper access control list which specify the username and what type of access you, um, you allow for that user. But uh, there can again be some situations like how to construct a list. It can be quite tedious sometimes and the directory entry now needs to be of variable size and again we need to have some complicated space management. So these problems now can be resolved by combining the access control list with some owner group universe access control scheme. This is this we resolve the previous problem. So to condense the uh, or to squeeze the length of access control list that is ACL many systems recognize three classification of users in connection with each many operating systems. This is owner group or universities. So or universe I'm, I'm so sorry. Owner, group and universe. So owner means the user who created the file is actually the owner who created. Now the group is the set of users. Now we have users in this set who are sharing the file and they need similar access in a group or above group. Universe means all other users in the system they constitute the universe other than this. right? So we can have a sample like this. This is owner access. Say it is 7. Say group access, it, it is 6 and public access, access say it is 1. So this, this owner access can be provided say read, write, execute. All these are possible. For group access, you can give sir, read and write but don't execute. For public access, only execute say and uh, just don't uh, do read and write. But we can see it other way around also. You know, how? This owner access can be all of these but group access can be 110 that means Read and write are not possible. Exe read, read and write, write are not possible. Allow them to execute. Okay. And in the public excuse, uh, access, you can just simply say, we are, we in this zero, we say not allow. And the, for zero, in the second sense, we say allow. So we say, okay, allow read, allow write, but don't allow execute. This is, these are just scenarios. These are not actual, these are just samples. So this RWX, this indicate which users have permission to read, write and execute. For example, this Windows XP, this has a ACL management list. For example, you can be an administrator, you can be a guest, you can be any of these type. These are group and user names. Now, when you click on guest, you, you are allowing or denying something. That is, you are denying a full control, modification, read and execute, read and write. Okay, when you want to allow, you can check this. This is how the, the list is being made. This is a simple Unix directory uh, listing. For example, uh, we talk about this one. Or uh, we just allow, say the first one, R, W, R, W, R. This is read, write, execute, execute. So these, these are the formation which says whether it is allowed for a staff, what needs to be done. If a faculty is there, what needs to be done for a student? What's uh, what's needs to be done, and what are the access which are being provided? There are other protection approaches also. The password can be associated with each file. This is one of the uh, you know one of the intuitive form of protection password. 
But the disadvantage is the number of passwords you need to remember can be very large. If you have only one password that is used for all files, then easily discover you can uh, anybody can discover. So all the all the files that are accessible if it is known by someone. So only one password is associated with uh, all the user files. So protection is all or nothing. There are two type of protection: all or nothing. But when we deal with multi-level multi directory structure, we need to provide a mechanism for this directory protection. In the directory operation that must be protected they are different from the file operation how in the directory operation we need to have control creation and deletion of files in a directory and also we need to control whether a user can determine the existing of a file or existence of a file in a directory using say uh, for example dos we use tir command 